I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm somebody's shot of tequila. And I was like, that's perfect. Like you don't need to please everybody. You just need to attract the right people. extroverted in order to make YouTube videos. So in 2020, when we were on lockdown, I had been coloring my hair for 30 years. I did not know how much gray was in there until I couldn't go to the salon for two and a half months. And when it started growing in, it was like, holy cow, that's a lot of silver in there. You know what? I think I'm just going to roll with it. Let's let it grow out and see what happens. And I let my hair grow out very publicly on screen. Nobody said anything. One lady was like, you really should dye your roots if you're going to be on camera. And everybody else was like, you go girl. I think it's awesome. The vast majority of people said nothing. The few who did comment, like 99 said nice things. And one person said something snarky. Okay, fine. To the snarky person. I don't really care. Here's the chicken lady that I follow, right? So I love her channel. She has 500,000 subscribers. She is not young. She is not skinny. She is not a supermodel. She's not strutting around in a bikini. Nobody cares what she looks like. They watch the channel because she's entertaining on camera. She's interesting. She's delivering really good information. And she's so real and relatable. Clients want real. They don't want perfect. One of my best performing videos is one where I face planted in my driveway and I left it on the video because I thought it was hilarious. And For I real? figured totally. Now I, I told my husband, I want to do a parody. I want to drive up to the house and I'm going to get out of the car in super slow motion. And I'm, you know, I got my designer bag and I'm driving up in the Land Rover and I'm looking all fancy and I'm going to make a parody of these people who actually make videos like that because they think that it's all about me and how fancy I am. And I said, when I get out of the car, I'm going to pretend to drip, trip myself. Well, I tripped myself so convincingly, like I actually fell down and my shoes fell off and everything fell out of my purse. All I could think of was, thank God I am not wearing a dress right now. And my husband kept filming because I had told him I was going to trip myself. So he thought I did that on purpose. And when I didn't get up, he said, oh my gosh, are you okay? <laughs> and so in the end, I left it in the video. Every single person who called me said, I love that you don't take yourself so seriously. I think if you can laugh at yourself, like you've got a good sense of humor, you are the realtor for me. Now, were there people who did not think that was funny? I'm sure there were plenty of them. And you know what? They will never call me and that's okay. They don't have to. I do not need to, be, who is it? Katie Clancy said, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm somebody's shot of tequila. And I was like, that's perfect. Like you don't need to please everybody. You just need to attract the right people. And I obviously was trying to find people that had a good sense of humor. You, you're as... seeing, you see, you're seeing the, the, the brand, like the personal brands really yeah. coming out now, because right. you'll see some of these snooty, some of these other snooty brands, somebody makes a video and they're like, it's so out of distasteful and this and that. It's like, it's one thing to be disrespectful. It's another thing to like do a parody or do this. Like, do you remember the girl that like threw the wine glass down a few years ago? And like, you oh, know, yeah, a, bunch yeah, the, yeah. a bunch of the brokerages just went nuts. It's just like, yes. you guys, I mean, she wasn't being disrespectful. I mean, you know what I mean? It's just like, just, but that, that video wound up getting like, that one did go viral, you know, it was like 30 million views. And I guess her business blew up like in a good way. So it's just like, you know, now the broker's happy because they're getting those, those checks, but yeah, yep, exactly. I, I agree with you. Yep. I think you just have to show your personality on camera and I'm not saying don't be professional, but can you crack a joke now and then? Can you be funny? If you can juggle, like, could you juggle while you're given this information? I just anything that you can do that would be interesting. So someone would watch your video and still like you and want to work with you. Like, hey, if they call you and you get the, the client and you get the closing out of it, sounds good to me, right? As far as being like, I, I'm, I'm too shy, I'm an introvert. I think that being an introvert is a real asset when it comes to YouTube videos. First of all, I'm recording in my home office. Nobody else is here, right? So I'm talking to the camera. And if I were not live streaming right now, I'm talking to the camera, but nobody else is present. Nobody is watching me. So for me, there is no 
stress with that because I'm not going to upload the video unless I'm happy with it. And if I make a mistake, I can cut the mistake out. That is the beauty of pre-recorded video versus live. So for example, if I'm saying something like, are you thinking about selling your house and you're worried that you waited too long? Interest rates are through the roof. Nobody's going to ever want to Oh, that's bad. I shouldn't do that. I sh I don't want to like scare the crap out of people. Okay, let's start over again. Are you thinking about selling your house? Okay, that was the one that I want to use. Then when I go to edit it, I just remove the one where like I completely went off topic or I said something that was not smart or I dropped the F-bomb by accident. I just, I trim it from the front. I trim it in the middle. I click it and I hit the delete button. Problem solved. I don't have to upload anything that I am not happy with and I can cut out any mistakes. And when you just look at the camera as though you're speaking to one specific person, like to me, it's, it's super easy. It's not scary at all. And it's not like you're on stage speaking to a group of 900 people simultaneously. Just start to think about your phone. If you're filming with your phone, your film is one person. It's the lady who lives down the street that you've known for three years. And she is thinking of moving because like they just had another baby and now the house is too small. And she says, Hey, can I buy you a cup of coffee at Starbucks? And you tell me what I need to do to get my house ready to sell. Like you're just having a conversation with one person. If that happened, you would not be nervous and you would know what to say because this is your neighbor. Like we don't have to make it so scary. Just start thinking of the camera as your your best friend, your asset, and not something to be afraid of. Clients only want to know what we can do for them, how we can help them, how we can help them with this huge real estate transaction, make them as much money as possible, save them as much money as possible, take care of all the details so that they're not stressing out. Like what my hair color is, is completely irrelevant. What my pant size is, that does not come up in conversation. So if you're telling yourself you can't make videos until you lose 20 pounds, just accept that that's an excuse you're afraid. It's okay. Do it anyway. Do it scared. Even though you're terrified of doing it, doing it anyway is the best way to get over being scared. Because after you make five videos, you'll be like, I can't believe I was ever worried about this. This is a piece of cake. want to keep getting tips hit the subscribe button as well thanks for watching and we hope you get a lot out of this